Good evening and welcome to the London Perspective, where we bring you the latest news and analysis on the issues that matter most to the UK and our allies. I'm your host, Stefan, and today we're discussing the recent statement made by Germany's Foreign Minister, Annalena Baerbock, regarding the potential transfer of German-made Leopard tanks to Ukraine. As many of our listeners may know, Ukraine is currently facing an ongoing invasion by Russian forces and has repeatedly urged its Western allies for more military aid. In the face of this crisis, Poland has announced its readiness to deliver 14 Leopard tanks to Ukraine, but the decision ultimately lies with Germany, as the tanks were manufactured under a German license agreement. Foreign Minister Baerbock stated that Germany would not stand in the way of such a transfer if Poland were to make the request. This is a significant development, as it signals Germany's willingness to authorise European countries to send the tanks to Ukraine, despite previous hesitation. But this raises important questions. Why has Germany been hesitant to authorise the transfer of these tanks in the past? What has changed in the current political climate to make this decision possible? And most importantly, what impact will this decision have on the situation in Ukraine and the UK's relationship with Germany and Poland? To understand these questions, we need to take a look at Germany's history with military involvement and arms exports. Historically, Germany has been cautious in its approach to arms exports, with strict regulations and a focus on diplomacy over military action. This is in contrast to the UK's more interventionist foreign policy, which has led to a more active role in arms exports. But the situation in Ukraine is a unique case, as the country has been facing an ongoing invasion by Russian forces for over a year now. The international community, including the UK, has been putting pressure on Germany to take a more active stance in supporting Ukraine. It's important to remember that Germany has a license agreement for the Leopard tanks, which means that no other country can send them to Ukraine without Berlin's approval. This decision is not only crucial for Ukraine's defence against the Russian invasion, but also for the overall stability of the region and the international community's stance on aggression and sovereignty. As we delve deeper into the potential impact of this decision, it's important to consider the actions and decisions of our government and leaders, specifically Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. How is the UK government responding to the situation in Ukraine and the pressure on Germany to provide military aid? How is the UK positioning itself in the international community's efforts to support Ukraine and address the Russian aggression? It's crucial that our leaders take the necessary steps to address this ongoing conflict and protect the well-being of not only the Ukrainian people, but also the international community's values of sovereignty and non-aggression. As we continue to follow this story and the potential impact on the UK and the world, These are important questions to consider as we move forward.